Welcome back to another lesson. I have a fantastic lesson for you today, and I'm going to show you just how much mileage you can get out of one chord voicing. I'm going to focus on dominant seventh chord voicings, and I'm going to particularly focus on 13th uh, chords. And everything you've heard in this piece, any all of the 13th chords or all of the dominant 7th chords were voiced using this one single voicing. Let me present it first, and then I'll walk you through the progression itself and I'll show you exactly uh, how I, uh, pretty much, how this voicing was featured for every chord. So let's start with the voicing itself, and I'm going to show it for, uh, let's do it for G. So for G, I'm going, to, this is the voicing itself. What I'm playing here is a G 13th chord. So if you look at G 13th, it's basically made out of these notes. And I moved them around, so I kept the G in the bass. And then I took this third here up an octave. And I omitted the 11th. And I omitted the 5th. And this is what I was left with. So here's my voicing. Now let's walk through the song and I'll show you how really every chord, every dominant seventh chord I played was played using this. Let's start. So the first is a C. And then I play a D minor. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop actually and talk about all of the other chords. I'm just gonna go quickly until I get to the 13th chord or the dominant 7th chords. Now look at this thing. You might say, well, this is a G 13th chord, or this is a G, this is basically a dominant 7th, uh, 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 or a G dominant 7th that was, I, I basically chose a different voicing for. And when you look at it, it looks nothing like this thing I played here, right? This is not this. This is what I showed you, and this is what I'm playing in the song. So you might think, okay, I think he's pulling my leg, but I'm not, and I'll explain why. And everything, uh, or this has to do with something called the triton substitution. And it basically means that you can take any dominant seventh chord and substitute it for a dominant seventh chord a triton away. I've had a video about this recently, and you can go and check it out, but for the purpose of this video, all you need to know is that you can take this uh, G 13th chord and you can substitute it, or you can take the bass down a triton, a triton is six semitones, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, when you look at this voicing, uh, what you see is you're playing the, playing say the D flat, F, A, B, and E. And now let's transpose it. Let's go down. Aha, uh -huh. let me take this up an octave. And here you have the voicing I played. So it's basically, it basically game came through a substitution, but it's still based on the same initial voicing that I've shown you. So let's keep going. Here's a C dominant 7th, or actually a C 13th, and this is actually the voicing I played. Let's transpose it so I can prove it to you. Uh, I'll do it one semitone, one, one semitone, one semitone, one semitone, and I'm back on this, this original voicing, G 13th voicing I've shown you. Only transposed up to a C. And this again is the same voicing, uh, only this time it's a B flat 13th. See, just again to convince you, 
let's go down, transpose this down until we get to the original voice here. You see, so this is the same kind of voicing I've played at the beginning. Now here we have a, an E dominant seventh, but again, I've used the same trick I used for the G uh, at the beginning. So let me just transpose it up and let's see that it's the same kind of voicing as I use for the G. So let's go up, let's go up again, and let's go up again. You see, this is the voicing I used for the G dominant seven at the beginning. Only now I use it for the E. Again, it's de derived from the same basic voicing using a triton substitution. Uh, <clears throat> here, I'm playing sort of almost the same voicing. It's not exactly the same thing, so I'm cheating just a little, little bit. Uh, if you look at this, uh, this is kind of like the voicing for the E. So this is the voicing for the E I used. And now let's again go down a semitone, another semitone. And I'm not using, I'm just, I basically took this F here, the topmost note, down uh, a semitone. So it's almost the voicing. Uh, it's almost derived from the original voicing, just a little bit different. And then I go to a D uh, minor 9, and then G 13th, and this is actually the kind of the voicing for G I showed at the beginning. And then just the ending. So you see all of the dominant uh, seventh chords, all of the 13th chords were voiced using the same voicing. Again, using also a triton substitution there in the middle. I hope this has taught you to, you know, that you can get a lot of mileage out of one voicing. And it also taught you that given any voicing for a dominant seventh chord, you can use a triton substitution to get a new kind of voicing, right? When you, let's, you can either voice G 13th like this, or like this. And this second voicing was derived by taking the initial one, taking the bass down a tritone, and then transposing it back up again to G. So you kind of get two voicings for the price of one. Uh, actually, before wrapping up, let me give you another example of this technique that uses triton substitutions to derive new voicings. Uh, I'm gonna play, let me see. All right, look at this voicing. This again is a voicing for a, an E dominant seventh chord. It's not really just an E dominant seven, it also has additional notes. So there's a sharp nine, uh, and there's also a sharp, uh, sharp 11, okay. But this is basically an E dominant seven. And now let me show you a progression uh, that goes like this. So the trick here is that I've used... And look at this. This is an E dominant 7. This is an A dominant 7. Now look at what my right hand is doing. It's just going down a semitone. While the left hand is going from an E, e to an A and then to a D minor. 
But let's use this thing or this uh, triton substitution trick to derive the second voicing from the first. Uh, so here's my E, voicing for the E, which I just gave you. Sounds nice. And then let's take the bass down a tritone. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I get basically another voicing or a triton uh, substitution for the original chord. And then let's take this down a semitone. And voila, you get the second voicing I used. Look at the right hand. It's exactly the voicing or the right hand I use for the A uh, chord. So this, going to this, was derived from doing a triton substitution from this to this and taking down a semitone. So that's it. I hope you've learned something interesting and I'll see you next time.